Welcome back to the channel. It's hard to believe that we are two days away from Starfield early access launching. And with that being said, I would say be a little bit careful about some different titles or thumbnails or anything around the internet where you can get some spoilers or leaks or kind of an early view at the game because there are a lot of that stuff starting to fly around. But in this video, I wanted to just kind of share what I'm going to build out my first character as because a lot of you have shared with me your ideas for your first character. And it's kind of uh, opened up some different perspectives for me for what I want to do with my first character. And really my first character, I kind of I just want to role play as myself. I've always wanted to see what is out there off of planet earth and really kind of the moon because you know we have at least traveled humankind's at least traveled to the moon and there's not really much there right it's a big ball of dust but that's where starfield kind of really resonates with me because their whole dialogue or theme of the game what's out there it really kind of hits with me i feel like a lot of other games especially like other space games really kind of failed to hit that and they're really more of just space games they're not go explore different planet type games and to me i don't know starfield seems like it's striking a pretty good balance between like space and you know the planetary side different worlds even moons and seeing what really kind of what is out there and so that's where i kind of want to go through and play my first character as what it would be like as myself to kind of go do that so in making my first character, I'll probably just make my first character to kind of look like me. You know, probably fat, chubby, little dude with short arms, tall neck, you know, something like that. Be kind of fun. But as far as character appearance goes, I will try to make it as close to me as possible. Now, as far as what I want my first character to be about, since it is going to be basically a representation of me, Beast Hunter, I would like very much to probably go that route, and I probably will go that route. But the other one that's kind of, at least out of the list that we know of, the other one that's kind of tempting me is Explorer. So we'll kind of see how that goes. I do want to go around and hunt a lot of the different fauna in the game and different beast hunting parts of the game. So I do want to see a lot of that. As far as the Explorer part, I do want to go explore a lot. So I'll probably just do the Beast hunter and still just go explore a lot but that's just kind of really what i'm going to be focusing on i think it's mostly just the beast hunter maybe explore we'll see what it looks like when we get into the actual game and there are still some backgrounds that we don't know so maybe we kind of get into the game and there's something else that really kind of tempts me to go a different route we'll see what it looks like when we get into the game but for now i'm probably mostly leaning towards the beast hunter background and for traits that are going to be on my first character really i'm kind of leaning towards anything that can kind of help and assist towards me being on the ground and planets as much as possible so i'm really kind of leaning towards hero worship so i can get a sidekick to kind of come along with me early on and kind of help give me benefits while i'm out exploring the other one that's not on the list the trait list that at least that we've seen is wanted you know we have seen a little bit of a demonstration of that trait there's another great one that gives you a damage buff when your health is low but mercenaries will randomly show up and try to kill you <laughs> And for my third trait, I'm not really sure if I'm gonna have a third trait. As for now, I just don't think I know enough about the different traits. And maybe once we get into the game, I see all of them, all the information about the different traits. I can really kind of hone in and figure out maybe a third one I would wanna have. Maybe I don't even pick uh, one of the first two I just mentioned, I don't know. But that's just kind of where I'm leaning right now. But a couple of the big reasons why I'm really leaning towards those two at least is one, I can have someone like a sidekick come along with me, you know, the adoring fan. <laughs> Is it really, really you? He'll join your crew and he'll give you gifts if you're willing to put up with this constant commentary. That will help me in my journeys and give me different gifts and things like that without me having to go back to a city or travel to other locations. They'll be right there giving me stuff along the way. Now, as far as Wanted, the cool thing about Wanted, in my opinion, is that will be like loot literally coming to you wherever you are. So if you're out on a far off world, you will have some different bounty hunters coming in landing on you and obviously they're bringing you loot anything that you kind of shoot and you can take off of them maybe even jack their spaceship that kind of stuff so we'll see how that works another thing i do want to try out and this will help me try this out is we've heard todd howard and a few of the other devs even mentioned that you can board an enemy ship and then have it take off into space so i kind of want to see how that works and i think that would probably be a pretty good way to see that work but i was really trying to find the three traits that would kind of more of a help and assist me out in my adventures that way i wouldn't have to go 
somewhere to get the benefits. They would just come to me and I wouldn't have to change from what I was wanting to do. Now, if you wanted to spend a lot of your time in homes, you know, dream homes, something like that might be really good that you can access all the time in, you know, whatever city you're going to be in, or maybe even one of the religions like raised, enlightened, raised and universal. That might be a good way to go because you're always going to be in those cities. So if I was going to go that way and I might do that, maybe on my second, third playthrough, go with some of those traits to where I just spend a lot more time in those cities and things like that. Or maybe I even just change focus on my first character and go do some of that later on. Now, some early skills that I'm going to be really kind of focused on leveling uh, or at least unlocking and stuff like that is one of them is going to be boost packs. Since I'm going to be on planets and worlds a lot, I want to focus on boost packs so I can keep my mobility up because we know there's no ground vehicles in the game. So boost pack will probably be the one best choice to help that mobility stay high. Another thing that I really kind of want to focus on is lock picking as anything I come across, I don't really want to have any kind of restrictions. If I'm going to be off in some far off distant world in some different outposts, I don't want to have any restrictions. I might not ever come back to that point. So I do want to be able to infiltrate, figure out all the things that are there, get all the loot that I can. And I don't really want to have any of those barriers preventing me from getting what loot I can or finding out the different things that I can find out. Another skill that I do want to kind of focus on is anything that will help me with getting passive businesses or income from businesses. And I think they're going to be under the social tree. Not quite sure about that. They should be under the social tree. And really my rationale is for that is while I'm away off exploring, going, finding different wildlife to hunt and things like that, I can be getting those credits constantly coming in as I own some of these businesses. And that is something I do want to try to figure out early on into my first playthrough is figuring out how those businesses kind of work, what it takes to kind of get them going. Can you buy them or do you have to set them up? All that kind of stuff. Now, a little bit of a bonus skill I might be looking for would be target lock. Now, if you are going to be spending a lot of time in space, this one will be a pretty good one for you, especially if you're leaning towards that space combat type of role and you want to take over maybe other ships. This will allow you to hone in and focus individual components. Targeting control system skill will allow you to zero in on specific subsystems of the ship you target. So it'll make it a little bit easier to disable those engines on enemy ships and you can possibly even board and take them over. As I know, a lot of people are going to be very interested to try that. So I am very much interested in doing that. It's just something that I'm not interested to do right away. So really that's my thoughts on kind of developing my first character, kind of the initial start of it. We'll see how things kind of go between my plans now and when I actually get into the game and I'm like, oh yeah, you know what? That actually looks a little bit different. That looks a little bit better. We'll see how that some of that goes. But I think for the most part, that's the way I'm going to be going. And you know what? If you want to let me know what you're kind of thinking, if I helped you in any way, kind of thinking about different things that you want to do, if you wanted to play more of a space role make sure you kind of go with those things that help you in the space area if you're wanting to be more in the dialogue or city approach you know pick the things that help you on the dialogue or the city approach and it's crazy for all the different things that we're going to be able to do in starfield i'm really excited to see just what everybody does so enjoy the next couple of days Alrighty, take care